in a very short span, ladies and gentlemen, this young lady here has already done 14 films in Hindi cinema, two in Southern. Nine of those films have already crossed 100 crores each. I believe two have gone into the 200 crore number. Some would say you are clearly well on the way to being sort of, you know, the Indian cinema's leader, as it were, in the manner at such young age, in such a competitive world, Kiara. Tell us how you've been able to achieve this in such a short, short span of time. Honestly, I've just had fun. I wanted Sounds to do this ever since I can remember. I wanted to be an actor. And my approach towards the craft, towards my choices, have been purely heart and instinctively. Um, and that hasn't changed. I've not allowed the success or failure to get to me in any way. I've, I've somehow managed to have those blinkers on and just gone on every day on this journey, cherishing every moment, truly. Um, and somewhere along this journey, I think um, the audience has showered tremendous love on me. They have resonated with the work I've done, with the person that they see on screen and off screen. And it's very humbling. Um, a lot of credit to all the filmmakers, all the producers who've put in a lot of faith in me, seen my talent, seen the potential, but I still feel I'm just scratching the surface and there's a long, long way to go. Oh, absolutely, absolutely, and that's the spirit. But this young lady here endorses hair oil, footwear, pet food, banks and biscuits. Uh, 25 brands, ladies and gentlemen, in this uh, very, very short, but very, very illustrious career of yours. My question to you, Kiara, is in, in today's time where you've, you've truly come and you're sort of uh, talking to a generation which is completely digital. You yourself uh, have millions and millions of followers. Uh, and whilst there is these two sides, you know, there is the film and the creative side, and then there is, you know, the side which is associating with brands which resonate with you, uh, whom you would like to lend your voice to, as it were. Tell us, how uh, is there a mechanism you go by when you make these choices? And how important is the importance of social media in all of this? Because I reckon many of these brands are as much coming to you, both for the creative work as well as the large communities that you have as well. Sure. I feel... Well, when I started out personally, it seemed like this perk of the job. As an actor, all of a sudden, all these brands want to associate with you. But as I, you know, as I grew in my craft, in my career, what I realized was initially also, I mean, I always chose to associate with brands that either I was personally consuming, a consumer of, or I believed in and I knew I this is something that I want to lend my name to and I know that, you know, there is a similar um, shared value or personality that matches and complements me with the brand and vice versa. But as I went along, I realized that here are these million people, like you say, on social media who trust you, respect you, follow you. Um, and there's a sense of responsibility there. There's a sense of, you know, they, you don't want to let them down. And if so many people are putting that kind of faith in you, then it's your responsibility to stay authentic and true to who you are. And I think that's who I am. I'm quite real when it comes to whatever I do. Films, you know, the good, the bad, all of it, it's all, I wholeheartedly own and stand by each one of them. And similarly with the brands I choose, I feel, um, apart from the fact of me being a consumer or believing in these products, I also feel you know, there is, there is, of course, this, this entire team that the brand works with who knows these are the stats and there's a reason they're coming to you as an actor. Um, they've done their homework. So it's important to see what you bring to the table, but also what they bring to the table for you, how you complement each other. And if that, you know, that synergy works, I think, um, I think it's lovely. I've, I've been fortunate to be amongst this list of brand that you've, brands that you've said. I've, I've had very long-term uh, and when I say long term, it's in my short span of my career, but it's for probably like 
five years of the seven, eight years that I've been here. So for me, that, that, that shows something, that means something. And I'd like to take these ahead with me. I think it's interesting to grow with the brand. No, I think, I think you will, Kiara, And with the attitude you have, most certainly you will. Because one of the key things that you spoke about is being real. Yeah. You know, uh, this medium, if there is one thing that resonates, uh, whether it is with an audience wherein someone is wanting to connect with a political uh, person, wants to connect with someone they inspire, they're inspired by, uh, someone who's just a mentor they just want to take to their teaching. The aspect of being real is, is so, so, so uh, true. Uh, so I know it's about six months or so. But it's not been a year, so congratulations are in order. Thank you. And I'm sure all of you will join me in congratulating uh, Kiara and Siddharth on, on their marriage. And we wish you, on behalf of IA, a very, very successful, very, very happy marriage. Uh, have you thought, uh, you know, there have been this uh, for many years, I mean, many decades, when you look back, there is a fascination, of course, between media and fans and their love and affection for public figures and artists such as yourselves. But there's also an association with you as a family as well. And uh, that in its own way kind of brings uh, a different kind of responsibility with some brands. So have the two of you, pardon my ignorance, actually worked on a bunch of brands together as well? So we're very clear about what we want to do together as a brand. There are certain attributes that we look um, for when we want, you know, whenever we decide to partner with the brand. Before we were married, um, there were two brands that we signed on individually. We, um, we were not a pair of that kind, like it was not a husband-wife kind of pairing. But now that people will probably come to us as a pair, as a couple. Um, so for that, we have thought about it. And I think for both of us, the quality, the, you know, the family values, um, and the legacy of the brand would be very important. We have sure. said no to a few and our managers will hate us for it. But we just feel that because the audience has given us a lot of love as a couple, especially, um, there's probably a certain sense of being self-made. We are both individuals who've come into this career by ourselves, made it here on our own. There's a lot of hard work that they resonate with. So I think, um, they, I think they will also be looking forward to what we do as a brand when we decide to, to lend our name um, to a brand. So that's something we've actually put in. That's probably the only thing I've put in so much thought to in my career. But it's uh, and good. that's why we signed nothing as No, yet. It's, it's, it's good consciousness. So maybe you shouldn't put so much thought to it. It's, it's, it's a good consciousness to have. I must ask you, first let me tell you, let me take this opportunity because, you know, you're an inspiration and leader to a younger generation. Uh, and uh, I'd like to tell you an initiative that some of my colleagues here at IA uh, initiated a few years ago, which we are all very proud of. And uh, see the world of media, marketing, communication, uh, the issue of gender sensitization has been an issue for many decades. Uh, simple things like, uh, you know, uh, a couple walks into a, uh, a store like, say, Chroma or something and is looking to buy a washing machine and uh, automatically the person who's wanting to serve is probably talking to the woman as opposed to, uh, you know, so from very little things to very profound, very prominent things. And my colleagues, uh, Nina and, and Mega, uh, we, uh, for the last four or five years, there have been an entire initiative around uh, sort of creating more awareness about bringing both diversity, sense of equality, and sensitizing communication. So my question is, you are in a new Hindi cinema world or Hindi world. Are you beginning to find a sense of parity, you know, whether it's with the roles that you get or the salaries that you make? Are you beginning to get that or are we still some distance away? Well, I think this is a very, very uh, large debate that can be had. And this is, like you said, it's world over in every field. Um, 
if I have to strictly stick with the ad world, I feel it's changing there. But I think it's, I'd rather speak for myself. I think it's important to value yourself. It's important to not be deluded um, and know where you stand, what you bring to the table. I would not want to compare myself to what my male or female counterpart is receiving. But if I feel this is my worth, then I would like to associate with people who see the same. And I am growing um, and I am happy with the way I'm valued. So I would stick to that. And I think it's important to see how you are growing from, from where you've come. Um, and that's how I look at it. I think that's fair and we, we respect that. Uh, we also recognize that, you know, when you start young, uh, you know, you're still sort of finding your way around. But we just want to say that as an association which looks at media and the agency and the market of fraternity, uh, you know, we'd just like to leave the message that, you know, we got your back. We're thinking about you uh, as well. And, and that's, that's, that's really the message. Uh, my last uh, question to you, this is an uh, August gathering of uh, CEOs, CXOs, creative directors of various companies. You already have 25 brands, you know, in the bag, as it were. So, but if you were to give a message back to the community that... Uh, what they should really look for in brand Kiara uh, as somebody who's dependable, somebody who's real. Uh, what is it? What's that message that you'd like to give uh, using the IA as a platform? How lovely. This feels like I'm going to be selling myself right now. <laughs> well, like the, all the, the lovely attributes you said. Um, but I feel I would like to resonate universally. <laughs> I would like to, I would like for people to, you know, I, I was told this once by someone that a quality that they saw in me was being relatable yet aspirational, which is quite a unique combination. And that is something which I, I see that even my brands usually tap into when we make our ads. So that is, I think, you don't have to be just one type. You don't just have to be the girl next door, or the dependable one, or the family person, or the one who's empowering women, or the strong independent woman, you can be all of it. And that's who I am. And I think that's who today's woman is. I think that's who she is. And that's who I think I am. Fantastic. And on that note, ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together once again for Kiara Advani. Thank Kiara, you. Kiara, may Thank you, you grow so and may you prosper. Thank you. Wish you all the very best. And thank you for being here.